We've developed a new position statement regarding balancing the harms and benefits of sun exposure for Australians. The new position statement recognises that the sun has both good and bad and that the balance of good and bad is not the same for everybody. We have more evidence now about the potential benefits of sun exposure and we also have got more modelling about how much time is needed outdoors to maintain vitamin D. So the guidelines put people into three broad groups. People with very deeply pigmented skin are at actually very low risk of getting skin cancer caused by exposure to the sun, but they're at higher risk of vitamin D deficiency. So our advice for them is to actually try and spend a bit of time outdoors to get the benefits of sunshine, both vitamin D and some of the benefits for mood and potentially cardiovascular disease, etc. Then we have a group of people who are at very high risk of skin cancer because they have very sun sensitive skin. It's best that they avoid exposing their skin to the sun, so they're fully covered when they're outdoors at times when there's enough ultraviolet radiation to make vitamin D. If they do that, may need to talk to their doctor about um, how they meet their vitamin D requirements. Then there's a group of people who sit in the middle for whom sun protection remains very important, but who can probably safely spend enough time outdoors to maintain vitamin D and while doing so, get some of the other benefits of sun exposure. The previous guidelines really didn't explicitly recognise the diversity in Australia's population and the ways in which that influences that difference in the balance. For vitamin D production, the best approach is to expose as much skin as possible for as short a time as possible. So you can imagine if you expose only your face, there's only a small part of you to make vitamin D and you've got to be out for a long time really doing some damage. So more skin, short time is the message that we give for vitamin D production. What I would say though, is that all people, except for those with deeply pigmented skin, should be putting on sunscreen as part of their normal morning routine, just as routine is brush brushing your teeth, whenever the UV index is forecast to get to three or more. And for most of Australia, that's most of the year. We're really trying to balance the fact that when we go out in the sun, it does some good things for us, but we also know that it is the main cause of skin cancer. In Australia, we spend nearly $2 billion treating skin cancer every year and many people are badly affected. Well, obviously we've had the slip, slop, slap message for a very long time, but then we see reports in the media about how important vitamin D is for all sorts of things. We know from surveys that people are confused about what they should do. So it's going to improve people's understanding and help them to actually get the balance right.